Greetings. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome to Risk of Rain Returns. This. Well. So oh, yeah, this is, as the name implies, a remake of the original Risk of Rain. You may have seen my Risk of Rain 2 videos, perhaps they were strangely popular. But I've always ha I've always been more, well, however, the Risk of Rain 1 has always had a special place in my heart. Uh, doesn't help that Risk of Rain 2 makes a lot of very questionable design choices. Uh. So, yeah. It'll be nice to, to get back to it with hopefully less uh, questionable design choices than Risk of Rain 2 has. Uh, so yeah, as, you can pro as you're probably aware, this game came out like a couple of days ago. So for once, I'm ahead of the curve. More or less. And yeah, I haven't, as you can tell by the tutorial pop up, I haven't actually played this game at all. So, we're gonna discover it together. Like, uh, as we. Huh, as we tend to on this channel, outside of things like Thief. Alright, well, that tutorial contained no particularly useful information. Alright, let's jump right in, shall we? Oh! Huntress is already unlocked. That's. that's nice. <laughs> if you've ever played, uh, uh, Risk of Rain 1, you'll know that that's, uh, Huntress is, well, like, pain in the ass to unlock. It takes so fucking long, and there's no good way to speed it up. Oh. So far, it certainly feels a little like the original. Interesting choice of the graphics. Oh, uh, it's interesting. I take it a... M uh, the, the part of the original. I think it looks nice. Sort of like a, uh... It kind of reminds me of those uh, things where people will, like... Like, redo art in their own art style. It very much feels like the original, but through a different lens. Well, regardless, I'll take it a, a hundred times over the garbage art style of the fucking... Risk of Rain 2. Yeah. This is already certainly feeling like Risk of Rain 1, considering I just tried to use a Shrine of Chance twice and got absolutely nothing from it. Yep. Is it just me or is there more... Am I doing more knockback? Than... Oh. Uh, okay. That was weird. I was just fucking standing there, doing nothing. Like a gormless prick. I thought it was a piece of background for a second. Which would have been pretty clever if it had actually, you know, ambushed me. Ooh. Now then. Ah, 
I don't know what that is. I can guess what this is, though. So let's guess. Oh yeah, bleed. Now, I should mention, yeah, as you can probably tell, that gives, that makes the enemy bleed. They have a chance to bleed when you hit them. Because the way it's spoken, chance to bleed on hit makes it sound like I have a chance to bleed on hit. <laughs> the fuck? Fucking teleporting mountain? What? Alright, that one's a new one. All the other ones seem to be normal enemies with a different, but with diff a somewhat different art. But that guy, I don't recognize. I think I would recognize a mobile mountain that can teleport. What kind of sticks in the mine? In it. Ooh. They can actually climb up ropes now? Alright. Interesting. I wonder... They certainly upgraded the, uh... The AI's capabilities. Sorry. I wonder if they'll be able to jump small gaps or two. You couldn't do that in the original. Oh wow, thanks. A choice one. A choice shop where two of them are the same thing. Guess it's my destiny. Fire shield. Meh. If I'd recognize that, I wouldn't have taken it. You could retaliate on taking heavy damage, or you could just, you know, not take heavy damage in the first place. I prefer to take the latter option. Mm. Ah! I don't even know how to pronounce that, much less know what, uh, what it is. Okay, that's what it is. Well, they certainly completely ignored all those enemies. Thanks. Uh... Here we go! I knew I was going in the right direction. Oh my god fucking damn it. Of course it would be this asshole. Or these assholes rather. Doesn't matter what game it is, these guys are oh, the absolute horse's ass. That eh, could be worse, they could be overloading. I thought I used to... Damn it. Who? No! No! Fuck! Damn it. Ah! Killed by an overloading guy, naturally. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's... N Let's try the hunt, shall we? Huntress was always, always I think, one of my favorites. In Risk of Rain 1. In Risk of Rain 2, just a a completely different character that's like utterly removed. Like in, in a lot of ways, the complete opposite of what she is in Risk of Rain One. I mean, literally, like one of her main things is that she can that you'll be able to hit enemies while running away from them. But you, ah. 
but the but you can't hit enemy because you'll automatically target enemies behind you. But in Risk of Rain 2, you can't target enemies behind you. That's like the one thing that you can't do. So it's ah, whatever. I don't like Risk of Rain. I don't like a Huntress in Risk of Rain 2. She was like one of my favorites in the original. Although that's partly because I spent most of my time playing with the glass artifact. Do you... Damn it. That classic Risk of Rain thing where you no enemies at all for ages and then probably like a big cluster of them spawn. Monster Tooth. Heal after kills. Oh yeah, Monster Tooth. Another thing that's great and that's really very uh, quite good in Risk of Rain 1 but is just not so far removed from what it was in in the rain 2 that it's just yeah fuck This already feels much better. I guess that's one thing that's pretty accurate. One thing that's the same, whether it's Risk of Rain 1, Risk of Rain 2, Risk of Rain Returns, Commando, just... Yeah. Just not, not exactly the most high DPS the creatures. At least not at the start. He can be great if you can combo him with the right, like, on-hit effects and such. I mean, the fact that a lot of characters are great if you have those is besides the point entirely. Oh yeah, Hunters is also fantastic for these. If only that goddamn... There we go. Ooh, yes! Oh, yeah! Now I'm the overloading asshole! <laughs> hey. Evening. It's like we passed each other on our commute. Alright. When in doubt, get high. Nope! Oh. Never mind. That was, that was much easier. Ooh! Uh. Aha! Our first artifact! So, looks of it. Free alpha. Move construct. Heal periodically after activating the teleporter. What? Uh, okay. I thought this was... I, know, I thought it was one of those artifacts, because I remember... It, uh, in the original Risk of Rain, you unlock artifacts by fi by finding them in hidden places throughout the world. And that, I thought, was, I always thought was a much more fun way to do that than the Risk of Rain 2's... Uh, you know, just go to this one place and fight a ch fight the same exact challenge, but with the uh, with slight differences for every single artifact. And I don't think I'm alone in that. Uh, what I do think is that I am lost. I think I'm backtracking. In fact, 
Fuck. There's the rub, eh? This game's all about going through these levels as fast as you can to beat the meat. I know. Uh, beat uh, to beat the difficulty scaling over time. But it's oftentimes you can just get screwed by yeah, just by going in the wrong direction without knowing it. Oh well. That's I guess the. Are you serious? Deja fucking boo! Once again, I'm fighting two goddamn magorms. Nope, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, God damn it! No, no, no! No, I missed it. I meant to use my other ability. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, man. So much screen shake and effects. It's hard to tell what's happening. All right, there's just one left, I think. I just goddamn hit it, but no. One Gotta be fucking underground for like 10 years. That's one of the most annoying things about the Magma Worm. Not even that it's... Uh, not even that it's dangerous. I mean, it is, obviously. But it takes... Even if you like do really well, it takes so goddamn long to kill it. Because it just keeps going underground. And that leads to... That leads to even more lasting obnoxious consequences of just... Ah, whatever. Point is, Magwarn sucks. It's the worst boss in the game, in any game. Well. Okay, Rift of Rain 2 has some really fucking stupid bosses, to be fair. But it's pretty fucking, it's pretty fucking bad. And it's the worst boss in Rift of Rain 1. Bar none. Or just Risk of Rain, really. Ah. Oh. Oh, some of the unique drones. They buffed it. Sweet. It used to just be a, like a mild economy upgrade. Just being able, allowing you to uh, repair drones for free and also uh, do, do so quicker so you don't have to go up to them. But now they actually... Now it's... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> How long does it last? Uh, so that's been a pretty long time. Why am I, I why was I getting a, a chased by the gingerbread man just then? What? Well, might as well. This guy. I'm. It's weird. I have no idea how to dodge his attacks, but I al but I seem to wind up dodging them without even trying. So I don't know if he's a difficult or easy boss. It just seems. I think. I 
See? I just never seem to take- I just never seem to, uh, to really be in risk of dying from him. But not because I know how to deal with him, but just because he seems to deal with himself. It's very strange. So I said this some of the unique drone, but... Oh, I see. I see what- how that works. It's some of the- when I- when I- well, I have it equipped. And then up- and then makes all the drones fire much faster when I have it active. That- okay, that makes sense. Alright. See? We're learning together. Unless you've already played this game and are laughing at my incompetence. But it's only been out for like a couple of days, so probably not. Uh. Oh hey! They changed the way the teleporters work. See, in Ruth Ring 1, uh, they have a thing where you have to in Ruth Rain 1 and Ruth Rain 2, they have some pretty an annoying things about the teleporters where in Ruth Rain, in Ruth Rain 2, they have this annoying thing where you've got to stay within a certain range of the teleporter in order to charge it up very slowly and all that. It's pretty obnoxious. In Ruth Rain 1, they didn't have that, but they did have a thing where you had to kill all enemies on the map to actually go to the next level. In this, they don't seem to have either. They've actually removed both of those obnoxious irritations that add nothing to the game and just serve to irritate. Sweet. Oh, ow. This place looks as beautiful as it uh, looks at least as beautiful as it did in the original. One of my favorite places, aesthetically, honestly. Just the uh, quiet elegance of the snowy tundra. They did a good job of, of remaking it, I'd say. Hmm? Oh. Of these. Oops. I don't like those. Is it just me or does that not explode? No, damn it! I hate it when it just fucking... The auto target is not exactly perfect. I hate it when it just sends it... Oh, I'm shooting a big explosive thing and it sends it away from the fucking boss even though he's closer! No! Ah. no. Ah, I was even going in the direction of the bosses and they were closer and it still went in the opposite direction. It just hates me, doesn't it? Oh, it only repairs active drones. Oh, that's lame. That's like... The... I thought it... Didn't it, in the original, repair all inactive drones, too? I don't remember. I didn't really use it. Alright. 
Ah yes, the hive cluster. This place. I don't know how to feel about this place. Quite. Mm. There's a lot of like slowdowns. Good old mortar tube. Hell yeah. Like sometimes I'll just randomly get slowed down. I don't know if there's any logic to that. I think it's like these things. Yeah, going those fucking rope things just slow you down when you go past them. Ugh. The very thing that serves to enhance your mobility also damages it. Ironic. Fuck. <laughs> Those weird looking fuckers. I like the derpiest looking enemy in the whole game. Ooh, a log. Funny, I don't see any trees around here. I nearly got through that without even slowing. <laughs> No, I think this is backtracking. Now. If I remember the original game, the sh there might be a secret somewhere this way. No! Shit. I don't know. Sucker! Man, I've suddenly gotten really good luck with these fucking shrines. What the fuck are you fucking hamster looking motherfuckers? Whatever. Huh? Like, this is another sort of uh, enemy that just sort of seems to let me dodge them without even trying. I don't get it. That I got, but... No! Why?! So many enemies! So much closer! But you choose the one guy who's like a mile away and do would do absolutely no good to attack. God fucking damn it. It was ever thus. I feel like the fucking targeting in the original game was better. The fucking AI targeting AI get worse. Bloody hell. Oh yeah! Hoopoo Feather! The premier uh, mobility upgrade this side of the goddamn golden jetpack. No! You literally shot at nothing! What?! Uh, the head snake and the body lives on. Oh, I've got a little minion. Yeah, uh, I doubt that's gonna do any good. Allies in this game rarely are, in both in this and the second game, or both in the first and second game, never seem to actually help much. Ooh, what's this? Three identical drones. What? Wow, you sure are doing a lot of good, just sort of walking casually towards me. 
It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. What the fuck are you guys doing? Fucking extendable giraffe motherfuckers. <laughs> Alright, I, I think those guys might have some competition for derpiest enemies. Okay, now they might actually be a danger. You know, unless I do this and completely negate their, abil their ability to exist. Damn it! Oh wait, that's actually really good. Well, possibly better than what I was going for, but still. I stopped it like at the instant it showed up and still didn't get it. Ah, uh, I don't like those selection things. They're so inconsistent. Alright. Let's roll the dice and see if we can get anything better than this bugger -ness. Oops, shit. No glow. Randomly freeze enemies for 8 seconds. Eh, probably not gonna be worse. Ooh, offer life for a chance of great rewards. Interesting. Okay, good. It's, it's current HP, not max HP that I'm offering. That would be a bit worse. Unless it was some really absurd rewards. Cycle one drone. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Well, sure. I'll take items any day over drones. I don't much care for drones. I don't dislike them. Uh, they're nice to have, but meh. I'd have liked to see what the uh, three identical drones thing would have done, though. Oh, well. Uh, I'm debating going to this again, but nah. Ooh, Whew. thank goodness for double jumps. All right. Nope! Oh god damn it, I saw a red item. I don't know if it was an equipment or a rare item, but ha. Uh, I clicked it like as soon as it popped up, but no! It's just impossible to actually see it, get what you see. It's just as soon as you press it, it'll just go to a different thing and then give you that. What a useless mechanic. Ah. Oh. They're just way too fast to actually ever be useful. They're even, like, they were already pretty bad in the Reverse Ride 2, but now they're even fucking faster, I think. Whatever. Damn it. That takes up that they've got a million years of lag time. Use every ability. That's it. Ooh, nice. Ooh, is is that the one that uh also protects me from from uh bleeper damage? I forget. And also, it might not still be the case. Did it just say take human heart? What? Okay, I don't know what I saw. 
Ooh, Rusty Jetpack, hell yeah. That's like one of the, Rusty Jetpack is great because it's so useful on the first, the first time you get it. It's not, uh, like, it's pretty good normally. It, you know, increases your movement speed and all that. I mean, uh, jump, not movement speed, what am I talking about? Your jump height. But like the first time you get it, it, it gives you like such good, of, so much more perks than every additional time. Pretty nice. Wow, I got absolutely nothing from that. Twice in a row, I think. Ooh. We did it. Oh, wow. Divine Teleporter already. Guess we're just that pro. Well, it's like riding a bike, I suppose. Not that I, uh... No. Either that or this game is just much easier than the original. Who knows? Oh, hi! Knight, nice, uh, spawning right on top of me! Oh. Ow! I can't even see what's fucking damaging me! Ah! So much fucking particle effects! No! I'm not certain this is doing much at all of anything. This ability. This equipment, I mean. Ah. This, this boss sure is going whole hog on me. Chest just spawn there? Oh god. Ah. Ooh, nice. Well, not that nice, but I mean, if I get a bunch of those, it's really nice. You should see that in the command run where you can get, you know, choose what items you get, sort of. Uh. Rapidly heal outside of danger. Yeah, that's gonna be really helpful when everywhere is dangerous. But yeah, if you get like a million, if you get like a hundred of them, just all enemies die before you even see them, more or less. Huh? Oh yeah, confusion. Right. Come on! Damn it, just barely not enough height. Oop. No, that didn't work. Okay, there they are. Oh god damn, do they have fucking contact damage or something? Most enemies don't in this game, which is to, to its benefit. Jesus, how am I supposed to deal with them? Do I just go up and down that rope hitting them like when they're away and everything? That sounds a bit daft. This just feels like a really, uh... Just like really extremely favorable position for them with these assholes that take a million hits to kill and they're bloody annoying to hit. Seriously, how am I supposed to deal with this? Where are their hitboxes? I have no idea. 
I can't- I feel like I'm taking damage at random! I think if I go up, they can't hit me? I think it's just their legs, maybe? If so, this is a pretty dumb bot. Foiled by the slightest mobility, it seems. Okay. I was really scared of this boss at first, and then I realized it kind of sucks. Well, bosses have never been this seriously strong suit. Quite the opposite. Attack. I hate how random those bombs are. Sometimes they go all over the place and barely hit the enemy. Sometimes they hit them like a million times. All right. I could go. I could go over and and get and troll those. Uh... Hmm. Is it worth it go, going back and trolling those things which take your health? Considering I've got the rapidly healing outside of combat and also while standing still. Maybe. Fuck it. Let's go. It's already... Plenty of difficulty. I like to live dangerously. Might not be worth the time spent doing it, but... Hey, if I can get some... Even just a few uncommon items, I think it might be. So maybe I miss- uh, maybe I underestimated how far I'd have to go back, Jesus. It all went by so fast when I was fighting for my life against Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, identical tro Wait, I went all the way back here? Oh wow, there was like no way of getting up here besides like right at the start, Jesus. Wait, what? Wait. Okay, I'm confused. Wasn't there another? Ah, I'm getting lost. Shit. Okay, probably is not worth it then. If I'm getting lost, but oh, I didn't know I was gonna get lost. Damn it! Where's the other thingamajig? But I haven't spent it. Fuck. I could have sworn there was another one that wasn't destroyed. In fact. Oh, whatever. If there is one, it's gonna be so far back that it's not even worth going to. Uh, at least I only wasted like three or four minutes on that. Not a fan of these random lag spikes, honestly. All right, let's go. Wait, oh, damn it. Damn it, I nearly got that log, shit. All right. Oh yeah. Coalescing, this old song. Why did you go in the wrong direction? Uh. Ooh. Wow. They changed the way that the monster log chance, uh, chances because I feel like I'm getting them way more often than I did in the original. Uh, I'm not complaining. Now then, if I recall... This should more or less be the way to get to the, uh... To a certain character. Oh, 
And here we go. The janitor robot. Uh, what would they call it? Handy? Lo I think? Something like that. Keycard. Yeah, that's a... This little ship has some unique mechanics. It's not just a race to the finish to f and finding all, while find uh, grabbing crates along the way. There are genuinely some interesting things you can find while exploring. Some very useful and unique things. Hmm? an item. What? Oh shit! It's one of those. Uh. Move faster, combat. Yeah, that's gonna be really useful. Right here. Oh my god! Will you stop giving me these? Can't grab a random thing. Oh, infusion again. I prefer the syringe, honestly. The blood bag looks a bit weird. Ooh, what's this? Something very expensive. Well then, let's open the last door and get some... More bags of moolah. And while we're here... Oh, infusion again! Bloody hell. It really likes giving me infusion. I wonder how infusion works in this one, like... In the original, it just gave, it gave you a... You know, plus one... Uh, health every, every time you killed an enemy. Plus, I think, 0.5 for every additional stack. Whereas in uh, Risk of Rain 2, it was quite severely nerfed, because uh, in that it, it could only go up to 100 per stack. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh yeah, and also, they removed the uh, completely 100% intended synergy, I'm sure. Uh, b between it and Artifact of Glass, where it was just straight up not affected by Artifact of Glass. <laughs> I'm still not sure why they didn't just make it so that... You know, you know all enemies get dealt more damage, rather than making it so that you have less health. And hell, maybe it's because they did really intend that synergy. Or synergies like it. Of this. To make flat health increases stack well with the artifact of glass. Who knows? Well, I know who knows. The people that did it. Maybe. And. What did that do? Oh, yeah. Big ass fucking throne thing. Oh, and it shoots a big ass fucking laser. My favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. All right. Hopefully, its auto targeting is better than than Huntress is. I do really like this, that sound, the sound that the fireworks make. Big improvement over the original. Not that the original was bad, but, but just how meaty it sounds in this. Really nice. The sound effects in general are pretty nice in this. Although I might turn them down a bit. Let's see. Heaven and medical day. Check out the cat. Yeah, they need to keep cars open. Hey! Right. And what did that do? Well, you'll see. Nothing for now, of course. I love just how much uh, Huntress just utterly BTFOs. 
at the uh, me uh, melee enemies <laughs> when, he, uh, when she has room. Uh, it brings a smile to my heart. Ah, I should say the keycard for the, for the storage. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find another one somewhere. Ooh, wandering vagrant. Now where? I haven't seen another one of those golden thingamajigs in a while. Concerning. Bridge. Ah, I think that leads to the uh, boss. Let's not go there yet, shall we? There's still so much to find. Unfortunately, this is a place that's very easy to get lost in. Aha. Here we go. Oh, I thought that was something I could go through, but no. This is... Okay. Oh man, it's, if I have one quibble about this, it's that it can be kind of hard to tell what's in the foreground and what's in the background at times. Ah, oh, there. Uh, where? Ah, I don't think I can get make it there. I don't have enough nobility. Well. One way to potentially solve that problem, I just need to get more items. And where can I find more items? Well... Probably... Either the... Storage or... Armory. Oh, you're in for a bad time now. Ooh, Topaz Brooch. Another one from the uh, second game, if I recall. Ooh. Come on, some mobility. No. Oh. I see. They changed it. You used to be able to, uh... This, I think this window used to be open. Or, or broken, rather. So you could actually get in here without needing a key card if you had the right mobility items, but... Oh well. I want to get the... All the item, key cards, not just for the, uh... To get into those places, but also... Because there's a, uh, item. At least last time I checked there was. Do you unlock by getting all four? Fortunately, you don't have to hold them all at once. Where am I missing? Ah, here. Unless this is where I started. I don't think so. And I still might have missed something where I started anyways.
Oh yeah, this is where I started, isn't it? Oh shit. Yep. Hmm. What about this fight? Ooh. No, there's absolutely nothing this fight. God damn it. Ah Where are these fucking key cards? It. I want that fucking topaz brooch. It's a good item. I mean, I won't be getting it either way, but I mean, I want to unlock it. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, right. There's the, uh... That hidden item. I forget how to get to that. Uh, not that way, clearly. Unless I can... Maybe teleport into it with blink, but probably not. Uh, okay, how do I... Here, maybe? No. Damn it! Oh, I'm never gonna find these things. I hate that. I, one of my least favorite things about Risk of Rain is how it discourages exploration, but with the noxious time limits. Not to mention, creative things being straight up impossible if you don't have the right items. Ah, oh well. Yeah, I don't know where the rest could be. I can search it everywhere. At least everywhere I can get to. I mean... This, this person can literally fucking teleport. Can't go through a fucking door. Oh well. I guess I won't be getting them then. Good. Unless it's through here, but I doubt it. Why did you shoot it at the random asshole that just spawned miles away from me instead of the. Ah. Come on, go through. So it's funny if you think about it. If there are if there are items that you really don't want and would never use, then getting the achievement that unlocks them is actually a punishment. Oh, what? Where'd that come from? Ugh! Another surprise tool that will help us later. Alright, that's three. I have no idea how I got that third one. Do they drop from enemies randomly, like with golden keys in Terraria? If so, it's gotta be a pretty low chance. Maybe I- maybe it was like... Maybe there was something hidden behind another object? To give me one? I don't know. And that's where the final boss is. Uh... Shit. Yeah, I think it's a rare drop. 
forgotten about that. Oh, time to get killing. Oh boy, here I go, killing again. Yeah. One of the other issues with the uh, Risk of Rain is that it late game it can very easily devolve into just well, hard to say exactly what's happening. So there's, no, there's less reading of enemies and more just do, frantically running around trying to do everything you can to survive when you see big waves of bullshit coming at you. Oh, I got it! Sweet! That was quick. Yeah, well, I mean, divorced from context, it was quick. <laughs> what? What do you mean? It said I got the key card. what? Huh? Okay, I'm confused. Did it drop, but I didn't actually grab it? And it counted? Yes, that's exactly what happened, okay. That's weird, but alright. Minor annoyance in the grand scheme of things. I guess. Okay. Here we go. That's all though. And another surprise tool that will help us later. Ooh, missile launcher. I mean, not a fantastic item, but it's better than what I had. Probably. I mean, maybe not. Oh, whatever. Either way, not that impactful. You know, will you bugger off? I'm trying to get items here. Ooh. Oh, maybe I should have gotten the attack speed instead. Eh. No! Get up! There we go. Okay. Okay. Time to go. Ooh. That's clear. Are you taking the piss? Okay, fine, I'll use that. If you really insist. Sight! Now bugger off. I'm trying to fight the final boss here. I don't need you, Riff Rap. me. Okay. Here we go. And here we go. The final boss. Providence. Bulwark of the Week. Now, some people... This guy is interesting. He's the guy that uh, grounded this ship here. And there's some interesting... Uh, Debate about his motivation. And, uh, because people say, uh, some people argue that, that perhaps he was simply trying to protect this place. After all, because uh, this game does have some pretty, some themes of, you know, losing your humanity and all that, fighting uh, in the slaughter. But the thing is that, well, we wouldn't have been going here, you know, killing our way through there to get money, to get items, to kill more, and such. If it weren't for this asshole grounding the ship here. So that rings a bit hollow. And... And not to mention the fact that he, you know, slaughtered so many people to do it, considering, well... This ship... Uh, this ship used to be full of crew and such. Not all of them got into life pods. After all. And even the ones that did, well, we didn't exactly see anyone here, did we? Besides us. Oh, fuck. And there's another thing. That, uh, that name. Bulwark of the Weak. And I think, oh, he's, you know, protecting the weak and, and such. But I don't think that's the case. 
I think if you actually think about the uh, implications of the meaning of those words, it sounds more like he's... Well... Well, the thing is that it's a defensive wall, yes. But walls, but what is he exactly defending? The weak? Maybe. Or maybe it's the weak that are the wall. Or perhaps the wall is there to keep the weak in. Perhaps. I don't know. Well, the point is that there's. That, just because it sounds like someone is protecting the weak. Well, it doesn't look like the weak have been much protected by him. What has he been doing except slaughtering? The exact same things that this game that this game so judges the player for. That the that the antagonist is losing his humanity for. That's because of. The point I'm trying to make here is mankind ill that the weak ill need a savior such as this. Come on, where are you, you bastard? I don't. Uh, some people seem to think that this guy is maybe a some misunderstood hero or something, but I don't subscribe to that idea. I think he's just another monster. The only question is whether he believes himself to be one, and I doubt even that. In other words, I have- I feel no remorse for this. Now, let's fucking leave this planet. What? What? Okay, this is new. Who? No. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Thank goodness. All right. You think th you think pulling a this is you this isn't even my final form bullshit is going to save you? Fool. Oh yeah, and also there's the, uh, the, po I the one point I forgot to make, which is that, well, being a protector of the weak, yeah, even being a protector of the weak, or aligning yourself with the weak, is, is despite what, what some will tell you, not an inherently noble task. There is a great deal of evil that is that can be born from weakness, or which creates weakness itself. Because strength is itself a virtue. Oh, one thing. Ah. Oh shit. And weakness is. Certainly not a virtue, and yet, so and yet, some people seem to think it is. Not only, uh oh, 
not only a virtue, but the but the highest virtue. The one that absolves you of all sin. Which is absurd, of course, because no virtue can do that. Come on, come on. Oh. Damn it. I thought I was gonna be able to get the healing thing. Yeah, well, I don't need it anymore. And there we go. Now! <sighs> At last. Let's leave. This festering rock. And so she left, her soul still remaining on the planet. Look at all those people we killed. The, all those weaklings left broken in our wake. That is a fine thing indeed. So yeah, that was Risk of Rain Returns. I might make some more videos on this, perhaps. Might even do a whole fucking series on it, or I might just not play it ever again. Who knows? My relationship with Risk of Rain has always been a bit spotty. <sighs> oh, giving it. Oh, the uh, weird uh, mount uh, mobile mountain thing was from the original. I don't remember it. Oh, and so was the, so was that? Or are they just in, huh, I don't rec- I don't remember it. <laughs> Again. Plus this is nice, but I think it should be bluer. Wondering what, nice. Ah, Ancient Wisp, they, uh, I don't- I think the, uh, actual, like, fiery portion of it around the body thing is- is too weak. It should- like, the original was, like, really felt like it was fully enveloped. Whereas in the modern one, it just kind of looks kind of like it's, uh, just sort of an aura. Also, the Ifrit is kind of scrawny-looking motherfucker in the new one. It almost looks like it's furry bait. <laughs> so, yeah. Not bad for my, uh first proper play- uh, uh, run of- of- of this entire game, I'd say. That's the end of today's episode, I suppose. That seems like a perfectly good time to stop. So, without any further ado, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very P, and this was Risk of Rain 2. And remember, uh, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. I'll let the, I'll let the credits play me out.
and you for playing our game. I still can't believe where we are. Well, maybe one day I'll be able to say that. As it stands, I can. Ah, bandit! My brother! Oh man, I forgot. This Huntress wasn't my main it wasn't the main character I played. I mean it was a, it was a, it was at first, but Bandit was my real fucking best guy. <laughs> he he's incredible with with the glass artifact, just utterly ridiculous. Providence trials, what? Also Handy, that's what he was. Oh yeah, that's what I said, wasn't it? Yo, lopper. Loader! Oh yeah! The best characters in Risk of Rain 2, and a pretty good character in Risk of Rain 1, too. <laughs> 1, 2. Oh! 56, uh, 56 leaf clover. Oh yes! That thing, that's in that item is incredible with command, like ludicrously powerful if you can actually pull it off. Uh, command and honor, mind. Wicked ring. Boy, I sure did unlock a lot. Hermit scarf. Sniper. Oh yeah. He's a great character in Risk Rain 2, even though he's technically not in Risk Rain 2, but with a mod he is. Alright. Well, I guess next time I'll probably check out what these Providence trials are. Alright. Well then, again, so long, suckers. <laughs>